Hey, Hungerless Nation. Uh, I'd like to welcome you back to another entrepreneurial life um, mindset uh, activity here and lesson. Um, again, my name is Norman Curtis. Um, please uh, take a look at the description after this video and kind of just uh, learn a, bit, a little bit more about what I'm doing um, and, and then comment and like below to let me know that these videos are constructive and productive for you. What I would like to talk about today is um, living the dream. Um, what is your dream life? And uh, another word that my mentor likes to use is called dreamscaping. Um, it's kind of planning out your ideal perfect day and using that as a an indicator or a measurement um, for your daily progress, your weekly progress, your monthly and yearly progress. Are you doing the correct things in your life to reach these very attainable goals that uh, I'd like to chat about and actually do an activity today uh, to set this all in motion? Um, this is less of a mindset and more of a, a tactical strategy. Um, so we're going to try an activity in just a few moments. Um, um, what I want to talk about real quick is just imagine what that perfect life would look like uh, if money and your job were not a factor, um, meaning you're financially secure and, and and nothing really gets in your way because you are your own boss. Um, so keep those in mind when we're when we're going through this this short lesson. Um, some people do call this daydreaming, um, and I don't think that's completely accurate because daydreaming is not intentional, and uh, the the term dreamscaping, which is a made up term kind of is defined by me and my and my mentor as well um just the intentional strategy to to set forth and measure your progress to reach these goals um so start to visualize what your dream life looks like close your eyes for a second if you need to um and commit to the process because uh it, when you, when you're done and you and you see what you what you'd love to be doing with your life and what this dream life looks like, it's it's certainly going to motivate you to to reach those goals. So let me just um, um I'm going to read this activity to you, for you that I've gone over a number of times and uh, and I find it very very useful. Um, grab a pen and a paper. Uh, this is for your own use. This is for your own good. Uh, but you'll find it very uh, resourceful when we're when we're finished. What is your dream? day. Um, what does that look like? Uh, write some details of every moment from when you, the minute you wake up to the minute you go to bed and then, you know, all that stuff in between, that's the good stuff we're looking for. Um, when you finish that, let's talk about your physical body. Um, if you could, Go to a spa every day. Um, what are some activities or procedures you would, would you would have performed every day, such as massage or chiropractic work, reflexology, detoxing procedures? Um, if you were, if you had a motivated attitude and 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 you were setting yourself some goals, what about you and your body um, would you transform to potentially? become more attractive, even just to yourself. For me, um, this has been tough over the last few years. Uh, just over three years ago, I received a, a left hip replacement. I got a brand new titanium and ceramic hip. Um, and I've been focused on mobility, flexibility, getting myself back to uh, hiking and walking long distances. I might not be the long distance runner I used to be, but I'm trying to set you know goals to to make myself feel better. Uh, one of the things I focus every day on is my personal. Um, some guided meditation in the mornings. Uh, reading could be one of those things. Um, but always keeping yourself in check because the better you feel, the more motivated you will be to reach your goals. Um, relationships. Uh, how would you like the relationships in your life to look? Uh, spouse, children, relatives, business partners, colleagues and acquaintances, social media, networking individuals that you that you follow. Um, how would you like these relationships to look? And 
who were the top 10 people that you would that you would like to associate with in your personal or business life? Uh, for me, um, uh, Jeff Lerner is a, is my mentor and I would like to be able to chat with him more regularly. Um, T. Harv Eker, Robert Kiyosaki, um, Russell Brunson, um, a number of authors and movie directors, the list goes on and on. Uh, but these people motivate me on a regular basis and to, to potentially hold a relationship with any of them would be fantastic. Um, but also focusing on your immediate friends and family and how you can uh, either expand that group or just focus on that group more often. From a business perspective, what type of business would you like to have? Uh, for me, I'm an affiliate marketer. I am a digital entrepreneur. I am a travel enthusiast that tries to monetize that. Um, so I run a marketing business online. Uh, would, would you be if interested in the affiliate world? Uh, what about e-commerce, education, services, software? Uh, do you want a brick and mortar? I used to... Um, help and own a restaurant uh, that just it ended up not being for me. But what is what is your overall goal for what your business looks like? Do you want a fancy office? Do you want to travel for meetings, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Think outside the box. And again, remember, this is your perfect day and your perfect life. So write this, write these things down um, and, and make sure they're meaningful to you. If we uh, talk about your lifestyle, um, what home would you like to own? Where would it be? Is this a is this a dream home? A tiny home? A beach house? A ski cabin? Uh, a hunting lodge? A lake house? Uh, a tent in the woods? Who knows? It, it, this is your life, so have at it. Um, would you like to work from home? Uh, do do you want house cleaning services? Lawn mowing services? A personal chef? A personal trainer? Uh, the, the list goes on for that as well. Uh, what type of vehicle do you want to drive? What kind of toys do you have? And, and, and by toys, I mean boats and cars and motorcycles, trucks, RVs, and so forth. Um, what types of clothes do you wear? What types of hobbies are you interested in? Um, instruments, uh, learning how to fly an airplane, uh, gardening, collecting coins, anything that, you know, motivates you. Um, and what would, uh, who would you like your friends to be? Uh, I mean, outside of your, your circle already, um, athletes, entrepreneurs, authors, movie stars, um, think outside the box a little bit here and to move forward experiences. Um, what are the top 10 places you would want to go, um, for me, I'll give some examples again. I'd love to take cooking classes in France. I'd like to drink wine in Italy. I would like to hike the Appalachian Trail. I would like to, the, the list goes on and on. Um, but be specific and, 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 and reach, I guess, you know, not to be, you know, too basic here, but reach for the stars. Um, Tell me what uh, what experiences you would enjoy in your life if you didn't have to work a job and you were financially secure. Um, and lastly, what is the legacy you want to leave behind um, for your family, future generations? Uh, does that include life insurance, real estate, uh, cars, stocks, um, a big fat bank account, businesses, and, and et cetera. Um, knowledge is something you can leave behind in your legacy. Um, and uh, in this in the same realm, uh, what causes would you like to support? Uh, your church, cancer research, veterans, women's health, mental health, animal shelters. Um, this is this is a fun activity that uh, that I did months and months ago, and I changed this not weekly, but I update it because I constantly go back and look at it and I make sure that everything I do from on a day-to-day -day basis is getting me that much closer to my goal. Um, and remember this, uh, me doing this video is not part of my perfect day. Um, the back end of the business that I run is not part of my perfect day. 
What it is though, like I said earlier in the video, it is a valuable measurement um, and, and it's an indicator on progress. Um, being consistent in the strategy to, to complete and reach my goals. Um, so you know, that was fun for me. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and this, this should be extremely motivational for you. Um, I'm on an entrepreneurial journey that I continually share with you guys. And, and I think, you know, what I'm doing is attainable for any one of you. Um, so I like to share this information all the time. And if you have questions, email me, comment below, like this video, subscribe to my channel, uh, cause there's many more, uh, of these videos to come, uh, join the hunger lust Facebook group. Uh, it's a private exclusive group for members who are interested in this type of stuff. Um, I'd love you to be a part of that as we, we share our travels, our recipes, our cooking experiences, um, different cultures we've, uh, you know, we've visited and approached on our travels. Um, and then we, we learn some entrepreneurial techniques and strategies to, to move out of the paycheck to paycheck world, uh, where working for someone else is to me, just not a great end goal. Having it a job as an employee is great for cash flow and I think it's great for short term and the world revolves around employees. Um, so there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But if you're looking for a little bit more for your life, uh, a secondary or passive income or residual income is important and should be important to everybody. So with that said, subscribe to my channel. Let's have some fun with this. And uh, until next time, guys.